we'll definitely focus on becoming better as a unit. You know, at an offensive line, it takes all five guys all on the same page uh, to perform. It doesn't take just one good guy, one, you know, two good guys. All five guys have to perform to be for an offensive line to be uh, be good at what they do. Where, so, are, where are you in the process? Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. But we want to we want to be the best that we could be at September 1st. You know, we're not there yet, and that's why we have practice. That's why we have practice today. We have practice tomorrow to get better as an offensive line and, and for that September 1st so we could be the best we could be. What is the status of the right tackle position right now? Uh, well, you know, some guys are going with the ones and twos. Uh, I know Donovan Smith and Mike Farrell and Adam Gress all have been working at that right tackle spot with the ones. And, uh, they've been rotating in with each other. So, But they also go with the left side. So they have the equal amount of reps with the right and left side with the first team. What differences have you seen in uh, Matt McGloin's um, composure from last year to this year and coming in this year as, as the definite starter? Uh, I, I say a different a different amount of uh, a personality he definitely has. Uh, I, I think the confidence level is the big thing, too, for Matt McGloin. He's, he's really taking that leadership role of being the quarterback and uh, embracing that. And uh, he really has that confidence with him, that confidence that I remember facing him back in high school. You know, And he has that confidence when he commands the huddle and uh, – and during the play. It's actually been a lot of fun because there's there's days when we get the better of them and then there's days that the offense uh, gets a little bit better of us. So it's actually really exciting. It's been a really competitive camp and you know it's fun um, now seeing the offense make plays and then trying to go back in the uh, defensive room and make adjustments and figure out how we can come out and, and beat them the next day. So it's it's been very competitive and it's almost like we're going against another team. But how do you feel physically this year compared to last year, physically and mentally, as far as the playbook goes? Um, well, obviously, I got a lot of lot more playing experience from from last year, so I definitely feel a little bit more of a veteran, and uh, just that alone makes the game kind of slow down for you. And I also definitely think that my speed has improved a lot. So the combination of those two things, um, I think, is going to really help me on the field. Keeping the keeping the defense on the toes, you know. Uh, they can go a fast-paced offense. Uh, they can be either in NASCAR mode, or two-minute mode. They just keep the defense on their toes. But then uh, you're not going against the same guy all the time. Like sometimes I'm lining up against Shawnee Percy, Trevor Williams, uh, Allen Robinson, maybe Kyle Carter. Sometimes out there, uh, they just keep us. They just well balanced. I mean, uh, to be honest. They, their offense is, is, is crazy because uh, the formations they can give you, uh, whether it's play action, pass, or run, they just do so many things that's going to help us out as an offensive unit. So it's a pretty complex It's a scheme, pretty, right? yes, very. Like you just tell, it's like an NFL-based thing. Offense just came along very well. First couple of practices, I mean, like the defense was getting after us with all the blitzes and everything, and the offense was just real vanilla. But like over the past couple of weeks, Coach O'Brien been putting in a lot more plays. He's just been just getting the offense a lot more complex, and we had a scrimmage a couple like a couple of days ago, and we actually put a little hurting on the defense a little bit. So <laughs> it was just a good feeling to see the offense really come together and start to see what we could really do this year. Was there something in particular you guys were struggling with when camp started that you're not struggling with now? I mean, everyone just had to get like reacclimated to everything for real. I mean, like we. We did it all like in the beginning of the spring, of course, everything was brand new. And by the end of spring, we were starting to get it together. And I mean, it's the same thing with training camp. I mean, we just had to get reacclimated to everything. And um, once we started getting like more more um, routes and more plays and all that, everything started coming together. Have you together. seen the whole offense? What percentage of it do you think you've seen and worked on? Or do you not even know how deep it is? I goes? don't even know to tell you the truth. I really don't. I know it's the Patriots offense and I know <laughs> that like, coach says he gets bored with what we're doing and it's really all new to us so it just I'm pretty sure it's a lot more to it we'll get through it like I'm sure like throughout the season though we go over every possible situation that could come up in the game um, and I think that's a you know a good exercise and a good drill that we do um, and uh, you know you always have to be ready for any situation and, and um, you know, we just, uh, we're, we're more prepared, I would say. More well-rounded when it comes to the mental side of the game. Mm -hmm. And how, uh, what has Coach O'Brien done to kind of teach you how to do those things? Well, we'll, we'll meet as a group, uh, as a team in the squad room, and, uh, you know, we'll go over 
any situation, what should you expect on offense, what should you expect on defense, um, and just kind of just mental exercises like that. And uh, that stuff, you know, that stuff will do a lot for you. When, you know, when you're on the field and you're tired and, and you can just quickly think of, you know, hey, I, I practiced this. Yeah. And uh, I've been through this before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's going to come a little bit more naturally when it happens out on the field. Mm -hmm.